We're about 40 miles southeast of Des Moines in Lacona. This is the Paul Mead farm, and his mailbox hasn't had any mail in it for weeks. Got a new mail carrier, a new postmistress, and it, it's not it's a bad combination. Farmer Paul Mead is not getting any mail these days. It'll be two weeks tomorrow when I last time I had mail delivery. He got a notice that unless he moved his mailbox, his mail delivery would stop. And that's just what happened. He's confused because this mailbox has been here since the day he moved in 52 years ago. Well, I moved here in 71, and the mailbox was there then, and it's set in concrete. It was meant to stay. He says a new mail carrier didn't like the way he would have to turn around in Meade's driveway to reach the mailbox. That's what other mail carriers have done for a half a century. He says the Indianola postmaster told him to move it out onto the road, but Meade says it would be run down by farm equipment. I guess I can put the mailbox where they want me to put it and then when it gets knocked down, it's your fault, not mine. Meade has even contacted his congressional office to get some answers. He spent the last two weeks cleaning up from a recent tornado, which he compares to the post office battle. I don't know how to explain that. I'm telling people I'd rather deal with the tornado than the post office. We reached out to the post office but haven't received a response. Mead says his mail is probably piling up in the Lacona post office. He hopes common sense prevails. It's worked for every mail carrier since then until this last one 